Happy Monday, everyone. Carmen Broxma here with Choose Joy with Carmen. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Arvada, Colorado. And I am back again for another episode of my Mode Joy Monday. So today, I'm not going to be actually making a card. I'm going to be showing you what I did as um, from a template that I get from um, Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl. So each month she has these um, templates or these sketches and it gives you ideas on how to make cards. It gives you all the dimensions, how to tells you how to cut it. It's just a really cool thing. And I just love doing this each month with her. So I am going to go ahead and put her information in the um, description. Because if you want to find out how you can get involved with getting these patterns and templates, then you can go ahead and um, I will put the link to her video that she did this month uh, with this with the sheet loads of cards that she did this month. So that way you can find out how you can get involved with it too if you really like this. So I'm not going to be giving you a whole lot of dimensions and stuff today because you can get all that over on her channel and her video that I will be posting but I am going to show you what I am going to be using today so the paper that I'm using is um, and and the, the products is all coming out of the new mini catalog that's going to be coming out here in January and there's a lot of good things in here and I can't wait for you all to see what we have coming up and plus it's celebration and one of the stamps that I'm using that I earned out of here uh, because as a demonstrator I am able to pre-order and earn stuff ahead of time so that we can get prepared for when these new catalogs launch so I am really excited to show you that but I'm going to show you the paper that I used on today's cards and the three that I picked she has you pick three designs that complement each other. And the three that I picked are these three right here. And this is from the, I'll give you the exact name, the Heart and Home Designer Series paper that will be in the mini catalog. So I thought these three really complemented each other very nicely. So these are the three that I chose to use. And it's it turned out really nice. I was very happy with the results. So let's go ahead and let me show you them. And with her template, you're able to make nine cards. So let me sh let me get grab the three. So what I did was, because when you mix them up so that you so that you don't get, you know, all three designs on of the designer paper on one card, what I did was, with, with the ones that had this background of the green, I went ahead and changed up so the the thanks would have a different background and it would be white on top of that green. I don't know if you can see that there. And I also added the um, jam, the jewels from the 2021-2023 in color jewels. I've used up most of them, so I don't have a lot to show you here. But that's what I've used on these cards. So I don't know if you can see them. I have them like three on each card. So there's that one. And see again, this all has this background, but then it's different. So this is here and you know, you can just tell that it's a little different. These two are the same. So there's that. And then on the other ones, because this centerpiece was the lighter color, I went ahead and put the, the shadow of the thanks in white with the garden green uh, on there. So there's those cards there. I just love this because I can get through a lot of designer paper. Well, actually, I only got through three on this, right? 
But here, let me show you what I did because um, there was still leftovers and I thought, I don't want to have to put little scraps back in, in uh, you know, in with my designer paper. So I went ahead and cut the rest up and I'm going to show you those cards next, but I want to just show you that this was all I had left from those three pieces of designer series paper that I used. And that's what I really like. I like to only have nothing to keep, right? When, when I get started on a card. And I also wanted to show you on the inside of these cards, I wanted to use every bit of scrap. So on the inside, I went ahead and cut down the three designer papers that I used and I put all three on the inside of all the cards. And I think on her design, she doesn't have you do anything for the inside because I think she uses a white base for hers. But I like to use a, a colored base and then put a different color, uh, put white on the inside. So that might be a little different than what she showed you. But let me show you the other cards that I added to make, um, to so that I could use up all the designer series paper, right? So this, um, I cut this down, each of the little pieces, to I think it was like two by one and a half, and then I did the matting at um, two and a quarter by one and three quarters. And let me show you the the dies I used with that. So there's this new set that's going to be in the new mini. Now I didn't use any of the stamp sets from this, but I used the dies that come that come bundled with it. So I used this for the garden green right there. And I used this one for the pal papaya. And then I used this one for the um, fresh freesia. And so that's what I used to die cut those flowers out. And then I loved the new embossing folder. It's gonna, it's, um, going to be in the new catalog and it's called stripes and splatters. This is the stripes one and there's another one with splatters on and it's a 3D embossing folder. And I went ahead and did just this side of the card with that. So I don't know if you can see that, but I really like that look. And then the words that I used was from the special moments which is in the celebration and so this can only be earned you can't purchase it so and I think you have to put in a hundred dollar order in order to get this for free but it has such it has a lot of nice sayings so I wanted to make sure that I earned that one for sure and then on the other cards um, uh, this thanks. This is also new coming up in the in the new mini catalog, and it's the um, it's these amazing thanks dies, and so that's what I used on th these cards here. And then I wanted um, so I went ahead and used the double oval punch that we have in the current catalog. And these little words came out of this special moments right here. So that are the three. So she, her, her design, you can make nine cards and I got a total of uh, 15 cards because I made these three extra. And then I also made these three because when you're doing her design, you're gonna get an extra one of this size. So I went ahead and thought, well, we've gotta use it, right? So I went ahead and designed this card and I took this um, little card, Big Thanks, out of the Flowers of Friendship that's in the annual catalog.
the current annual catalog. And then I just stamped these flowers down at the bottom, colored them in with the Pale Papaya um, Stampin' Blends, and was able to make these three cards. So this made a total of 15 cards, which was different than hers, but I wanted to try to get all of the designer paper used up. So I think that was all I had to show you. And I hope you like these cards and I hope you will go and visit her um, channel. She's trying to get to 25,000 by the uh, subscribers by the end of the year. And I think she's getting pretty close. I think she's over, I don't know, pretty 23, over 23,000 or I don't remember exactly. But um, so if you go visit that, you know, it would be nice if you could help her out and subscribe to her channel. And that way you will also be able to get these uh, ideas that she puts out each month and I just love them so okay well you guys all have a great rest of your day and hopefully you're not going to be too crazy busy this week getting ready for Christmas and I hope you all have a wonderful Merry Christmas and we will see you again next Monday for another episode of my Mo Joy Monday bye bye everyone <music>